Emoticons are rewiring our brains, colon, dash, capital O. I'm Anthony Carboni, this is D News, and new research shows that we are creating a whole new type of brain activity to handle all of those passive aggressive smileys people are putting at the end of their text. We've talked about pareidolia here on the channel before, and you probably already knew about it. It's that human tendency to see faces in things like the fronts of cars or clouds, stuff like that. It's common enough that there's a whole subreddit devoted to it, and I love it. Carl Sagan thought it might have been an evolutionary trait. The idea is we are hardwired to recognize friendly or angry faces at a moment's notice because it gives us a better chance at survival. And that makes sense intuitively. I mean, no one has to tell you to see a face in your toast or a light socket. You just see it. It also matches up with what's going on in your brain when it happens. Pareidolia happens in the ventral fusiform cortex of our brain almost instantly. In an fMRI, the average person recognizes a human face in 130 milliseconds and something with a facey sort of look in 165 milliseconds, and brain activity looks almost exactly the same in each case. So that brings us to our smiley emoticon, specifically the dash as nose variety. You'd figure it fits right into the whole face burned into toast thing, but here's the deal. When the emoticon was introduced on a message board in 1982, it had to be explained. It wasn't naturally recognized as a smiling face. Our brain saw it more as language or punctuation. It was a symbol to be decoded. A new study out of Flinders University says that that has changed over time. 20 people were shown real faces, smiley emoticons, and a bunch of meaningless punctuation while their brain activity was monitored. And the emoticon was recognized by the paradigm part of the brain. We now see it innately as a face. But here's something interesting. Turn a face sideways, it's still a face. Your brain reacts to it the same way. Type an emoticon the opposite way and our brains don't register it as a face at all. Which kind of makes sense to me because if someone types it the opposite way in a text, it takes me a moment to get what they mean. Dr. Owen Churches, the lead researcher on the study, said that this means emoticons are something new. They're a new sort of language or communication, and our brains are building a new pattern of activity to decode it. This is kind of similar to research that shows things like the invention of maps and clocks change the way we saw and organized information. We change the world, and it changes us in return. You know, I really do hate that smiley, winky emoticon that people put at the end of jerky statements to keep themselves out of trouble, but, on the flip side, I love constructing entire messages out of emoji. How do you feel about emoticons and emoji? Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News. Man, you guys are gonna end every comment with one of those smileys now, aren't you? Because you know it bugs me.